Okay, it's time now for us to start work on a custom theme for WordPress. I've got my Photoshop mock-up with me here, and I'm going to use our regular default theme in WordPress. To make it really simple, this will show you how easy it is to take a WordPress installation and change it into the site you need. Now, of course, you can use any theme you want, and we've talked about how to choose those themes, but I find it's the very simplest thing to use what WordPress has already built for you and has the consistency and the quality that you want without having to think too much about it. So here we've got our regular website all set up with our, in fact, we've got our test theme in there right now. So we need to create our own theme. So first step, of course, is a style sheet. What I've got here is I made up a generic one for myself so that I just grab it and make the changes so I put in our new name up here. This is going to be Textile Dreams number one. Hopefully they will have more themes down the road, but this is their first one. I've got my warning in here about it being a child theme, child theme of 2010. My template name, of course, this has to be the folder name that's in the themes directory. So I've made sure that it matches that. And then I've done my import here so that I know exactly where to look for the style sheet of the parent theme. So we're good to go. I'm just going to save this now. And then once I've saved it into the theme folder, then I'm going to upload that folder into the WordPress themes directory. Let's go do that now. OK, so there we go. We're uploading that now. And it's going to appear in our folder. Let's go back over to WordPress now. And let's go over to Manage Themes. So right now we've got our test one that we were using. And if I just refresh this page, there we go. We're going to see our new theme now appearing. There it is right there. Textile Dreams number one. And all we do is activate it. And let's go back to the live site. Now, of course, we're not going to see any difference. It's exactly the way it was. Of course, we're just using the parent theme now for our child theme. All right, so now we have to start work on actually converting this. So the first thing we should do is upload our header because we're replacing this header image in there. If we go back to our design, this area in here is just replacing this picture in here. So let's go back over to here to header. And I find my header and I hit upload and because we've made it the correct size we don't have to do any cropping it fits right in and we just go back over to here and we hit refresh and there we go we've got the start of our new design so obviously a number of things we've got to do here to clear things away I also want to darken this background I find it a little light for our purposes so we can go in there and change the background color Let's do it right here. We'll select a color. We're going to just make it a darker. There we go. Save changes. Go back over to here. And we just have ourselves a darker background. OK. So in the next video, what we're going to do is start working on this top area. Obviously, we have to change some things. This menu's got to be moved up. We have to get rid of all of this. That's what we're going to be doing next.